Welcome back to Crack and Flip guys. The moment has arrived. It is opening weekend and Amaket is upon us. I got a booster box right here and as you can see from the background I got more than one. So I'm going to have quite a few videos coming up. Depending on how I do I might even have more than six. So let's get cracking and see what we got. If you're new to this channel I'll tell you right now I'm very financially oriented when it comes to magic. So you hear a lot of price talking, things like that. There should be a goal. If there isn't, it's because it's opening weekend and prices fluctuate so much. But by the time I edit the video and by the time I post it, prices are already different. So yeah, I might have prices, I might not just because of that. So let's get cracking. Our first pack, look at that, it's just gold guys, gold. Egyptian theme. I'm kind of excited. I would have been more excited if the band had gone through and they got rid of Fel, um, Feldar Guardian. I would have been way more excited, but still. Some good cards here to be had. You know what I'm excited for? Three playable Planeswalkers. I haven't seen a set do that in a long time. And yes, I do think Liliana is playable. Especially in modern. Ruthless Sniper. And we got a monument. Destined to lead. And Liliana's Majesty. Mastery. There we go. Alright guys. Hope you're excited about this set. I am. Hope you guys are having a good Friday Night Magic. Six cents. We got Scaled Behemoth. Renewed Faith. And Hezaret's favor as our rare. There you go. Invocations, hopefully we get a couple. We got quite a few of inventions in Ether Revolt. I'm quite pleased with that. So hopefully we get some in here. I pretty much bought a whole boost, a whole case. So we're almost guaranteed to get probably two. We'll see. And we got a true heart duelist. Watchful nag. Watching Watchers of the Dead, a Prowling Leopard, and our first Uncommon Foil, Exemplar of Strength. Cool. Uh, no, that's not Leopard, but it's a Leopard. That's just a snake. And it's not a Naga, it's a Naga. Uh, yeah, Naga is how you pronounce that. Try and do better in pronouncing these names. All right, protection, the trial of zeal, and the a beetle, decimator beetle, and our rare, a sandworm convergence. A cool little rare. Nothing big yet, guys. Let's hope for something really good. No mythics. Hopefully, we get some good foils. I uh, keep one card, one foil card of every card. Yeah, one foil of every card in each set. And hopefully, here's a Zenith Seeker, a Gravedigger, a Shadowstorm Vizier, an Avon Mind Sensor as our rare. And our first full art land. I'm gonna put that off to the side. No, I'm gonna put the Mind Sensor to the side too. Not worth much right now, but you know, it could be. It stops you from Fetching lands and stuff like that, so it's a good card to have. Depending on how deck or decks are built, you might see in quite a few things. All right, and here's evacuation. And we get a chariot tier, a trial of solidarity, and disposes. And another foil uncommon, sensor. Our second foil uncommon. Been pretty good on those. Open this up. Yeah, the last set, Ether Revolt, had a lot of foils that were duplicates. I'm not sure if you guys saw the same thing I did, but I opened up like 10 boxes and I got so many duplicates. True Heart Twins, Visor of the Deferment, and Angler Drake, and Regal, and a Regal Cats here. And another foil. Okay. A crochet of knowledge and another full art land. There you go. 
be interesting to see how full art lands do in price. Depends on how common they are. It's supposed to be one every six packs, but you know, sometimes they actually mess that up. Okay, we have a waiver servant cast out. Pfizer a trembling sands and a griff keeper. All right. Man, only one good rare, and that's not even that good. But we got a long way to go. All right. We got start to finish. Battlefield Scavenger, a Gale Strike, and Oracle's Bolt. All right. Some cool artifacts that do some interesting things if you have enough brick counters on them. And then that, uh... Winding Constrictor would do some real damage if you uh, use that on brick counters. You got another evacuation. You got Weaver of Currents, a Monitor, and Sweltering Suns as our rare. All right, another full art land. That's three already. We're doing pretty good with full art lands. A couple videos are up already. And one of my questions was answered, which was, are there going to be foils of just the regular lands? And there are. Which means those full art lands might actually go up in price because they might be harder to get. Censor, Lord of Accused, Accursed, Limits of Solidarity, and Glory Bond Initiate. Just keeping it pretty neat up here. First time for everything. Another Lord of the Accursed. A start to finish. That's the same thing we got. A Destined to Lead. Oh, look at that. Three. Yeah, three Aftermath cards. And Heaven to Earth. It is our rare. Heaven to Earth. Aftermath cards seem to be pretty powerful. Let's see if they get played at all. Some of them are pretty, really cool. What do you guys think of the new mechanics like Embalmed? Open to Wonder, Embalmer's Tools, Exemplar or Strength, and our first mythic is a god, the Mindful. Not the best god, but it's a god nonetheless. Pretty good. Most of the mythics actually have a good price to them right now. We'll see how they do later on. Put the mythic down. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, the new mechanics like Brick Tokens I think are pretty cool. Just a different type of token. Um, embalm though. Uh, I'm not sure how useful that is. You know, they they tend to be even pricier than the actual casting cost of the card. Open into wonder, trial of the zeal, uh, decimator beetle. <laughs> and there you go, guys. Nissa, steward of elements, our first planeswalker. That is awesome. And then the full art land. Okay, we got one of the good money cards right here. You know, sometimes you get a Planeswalker, it's like a $2, $3. I think all these Planeswalkers are going to be above 10 For sure. Which is really cool. Liliana is just like the zombie queen in this set. So, I mean, she's going to go in modern for sure. Everyone loves a zombie deck. She fits right in there, so I think she's going to stay pretty good. And she's pretty good in this set too. She's not sure if you can play her. Six. Since Bone Picker, our first good uncommon. That to the side too. Stir the lands and never to return. Yeah, a lot to build a zombie deck in here um, just with the Sahili combo. I'm not really sure how many decks can be seen. That's why I'm disappointed because there could be so many decks, so many cool things um, if it wasn't for that combo. But when you got a turn four killer, what are you gonna do? Time to reflect. A Cryptic Serpent, Honor Corp, Crop Captain, and a Vizier of Poisons. Maybe, maybe some potential in this card. I really do like it. Later on in other videos, I'll start talking about cards and sets and things like that. Right now, we're going to kind of touch on a little bit and just enjoy the beauty that is these cards. And here's another Chariot Tier. By force. Might be in every side deck, man. To kill that many artifacts, that's awesome. 
an attendant and a heart piercer manticore as our rare. Got two of them in each pre release kit I got. Okay. Come on, invocations. By force. Trial of knowledge. Deem worthy. Insult to injury. As are rare. I'm really interested to see what those uh, invocations look like in person. If they look good or not. It's really sad to think that Force of Will is 240. When it should be way more than that. But people don't like the way it looks. Ruthless Sniper. Shadow Storm Vizier, a Gale Strike, and Failure to Comply as our rare. You know what I'm going to see um, in the next set? I bet you anything they're going to do full art uh, masterpieces just to compensate for how crappy they did this time around. Since they made the artwork way too small and people complained, they're going to make it way too big. Monument, Avon Wing God, a Scaled Behemoth, and Canyon Slow. Cycling lands. They're at three dollars right now. A giant spider and a full art land. Giant spiral spider foil. You know, cycling lands, they might do some work. They may do some work. It's a land that does something. I think the only thing against it really is that it comes in tap no matter what. If it came in if you had a basic land and it came in untapped, I think that, that card would shoot up in price. But we'll see. Cycling is a thing. Nest of Scarabs. And Bonto's Monument. Limits of Solidarity. Glory Bringer. Everyone's favorite rare. As of now. Everyone's favorite rare. We'll see what happens. But Glory Bringer. Put that right next to Nissa. We got Vizier of Remedies. If you're wondering what a Vizier is, it's what Jafar was in Aladdin, Gravedigger. And we got another monument and a sheltered thicket. Another cycling land. Three dollar lands, man. If you get some of those, that's that's pretty good. Pretty good. Actually got one of those in the pre-release kit as a promo. So I'm happy about that. Wayward Servant. Cast out Viz Vizier of Trembling Sands. Prepare to fight. Oh, there's one of those. Uh, that was our rare. There's one of those foils and like a full art right behind it. Yeah, that's one of those foils. Like I said, basic land card foil. So yeah, those. Uh, I think they're at thirteen dollars or fourteen dollars during pre-release. That might not be accurate. <laughs> They might go back up in price at some point, which is pretty cool. Wayward Servant, Consuming Forever, Grasping Dunes, and Drake Heaven, Haven. Another card that has potential. One of those cycling cards, so depending on how good cycling is, yep, card has potential. There's so many decks that you can clearly see peeking out from the scenes on this set. Enigma Drake, Merciless Javelier, Defiant Great Maul, and a Harsh Mentor. Definitely going to be a card to beat coming up. Put that right next to Glory Bringer. You know, those are two red cards, man. The red has been lacking. Red has been lacking. Trial of Strength. Exemplar of Strength, I can see a pattern, a Monument, and a Faded Poles. Three lands, and then another Full Art. We got three dual, dual lands there. Pretty good on the dual. Alright, what else have we got? My bad guys. A Synchronized Strike, Faith of the Devoted, and a Champion. And a rare, <laughs> guys, a double Planeswalker box. Gideon of Trials. I call that a win already, guys. 
when you got two Planeswalkers, both of them champions, that's a win. That is a win. You know what? Only one bone picker. They must know that card's awesome. It's a four drop, but we all know it's actually a one drop. Devoted mate. Gate of the afterlife. Reduced to rubble. One second. And we got cascading cataracts as our rare. You know this card, I gotta talk to you about it in a second. This card has indestructible. Indestructible. It might be kind of hard to get her power here of a 5 5 elemental creature, but this creature will now be indestructible. But Nissa in Kaladesh, her plus is a 5 5 creature, I think it is. So this, you know, that creature could be indestructible. Could be indestructible too. So pair that up when Nissa from Kaladesh, man. You might have something to worry about. At least that's my thinking. And we got a Warfire Javelier. Advisor of Remedies. Renewed Faith. And another Mythic. We got Bantu the Glorified. And our rare is Heaven to Earth. As our foil rare. Not the best full of rare, but still, I'll take it for now. But man, the mythics in this box. Two gods and two planeswalkers, guys. Time to own it. Man, Amiket, you are beautiful. Onward to victory. A flame adept. A Surfer of the Suns, and another Irrigated Farmland. This is the promo I got in Irrigated Farmland. That's four. Four dual lands. A handful of full arts. Two Planeswalkers. The two best Planeswalkers. Consuming Fervor. Trial of Ambition. We got Corp Crasher. And we got Soul Scar Mage. And look at double rare. A double foil rare pack. Never return. Two rares, man. This is a good box. This is a good way to start off on my kit, right, guys? A good way. This is all coming from the same case as well. And a lot of times, cases tend to have the same type of cards in them. So hopefully, Trials of Ambition. Blaleful Emit, Edifice of Authority, and Harvest Season as our rare. Harvest Season. Yeah, so hopefully this means that there's some good Planeswalkers in all this. We need that Indomitable God though, man. Just give us that green God. That's something. We got the Black God, which it should be another good God too. We got a Mark, a Crocodile, of the crossing and curator of mysteries as our rare yeah the black god and the green god they can summon themselves pretty much or not summon themselves they can uh, activate themselves which makes them the best gods there's a couple other ones that might find a place but those are definitely the easiest Ronos monument a champion surfer of the suns and mouth to feed Another foil rare. Oh no, another foil. Nimble blade. Another full art. Quite a few foils in this set. Quite a few. You have to do a breakdown of this box at the end. All right, guys. All right, we got Minglehorn. Got stir the sands, grasping dunes. And Shadow of the Grave, which could be a great, great card. Great graveyard card. And here we go. There's a lot of sideboard cards in here, too. A lot of good hate cards. Like this one. 
Sorry about that guys, I ran out of tape. Attendant, Trial of Knowledge, Throne of the God Pharaoh as our last rare and a full art. Alright guys, welcome to our breakdown. Once again, I apologize. I normally do not talk this long. It's because it's the first box of the new set. Next video will be super fast, I promise. Four dual lands. We got two full rares. We got Nyssa and we got Gideon. We got the black and the blue god. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight foils all together. Nine dual lands and only one bone picker. I hope this means this is like Fatal Push where there's only a few in each box. Um, might bring this card up to like 250. We'll see how it goes. And of course, Glorybringer and the Harsh Mentor to round it off. And here's a Mind Sensor just to throw it in there. Awesome first box. Hope you guys like and subscribe this video. And on to the next box. Thank you guys. Take care.